Okay guys, so I went to Ulta and this is where I got. So I just picked up some things that I had been really wanting to try for a while. Uh, I picked up the Morphe Bronze Babe 9B palettes. I wanted to get a new eyeshadow palette and I hadn't got one in a while. So I did open it up. Sorry you guys. But these remind me a lot of the e.l.f. packaging. I don't know who did it first. It does get... A lot of fingerprints on it so it is a fingerprint magnet but these really remind me of the elf packaging like the mirror is really really nice on these and I love that because you can set it up and if you bring this type of thing with you traveling or even if you bring something else and you're doing your foundation or whatever this works as like a really good mirror so love that these are the shadows the only thing I would say so far about the so far that i've noticed about like the shadows and stuff is that they're not representative of what is on the box if you guys can see that my hand is like in the way because i'm trying not to glare you guys but if you guys can see that the shadows on the box are a lot darker than what is showing up here so i don't know what was up with that morphe i don't know what's up with that the other products that i got I did get the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. Uh, I've heard so many great things about this concealer and I have been really wanting to try it out. And then they became available in Ulta. So still $6. So even online and at Ulta it's the same price. This is just what the packaging looks like. And so I got the shade Deep Dark 50. And I think this will be a pretty good shade for me so I'm excited to give this a go and then the last thing that I got which I am super excited to try out today this is the LA Girl Pro Matte HD Longwear Foundation uh, I have not tried this out yet I know it's been out for quite some time I was using my other LA Girl Pro Foundation let me show you guys what that looks like. so this is the other LA Girl Foundation this is the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation it is a longwear illuminating foundation and it reminds me a lot of the makeup forever hd foundation this i noticed has a lot more shades for deeper and darker skin tones this does not so i think when i went to ulta they were saying that they they had like a sign up saying that they had just expanded the shades and i want to say it still only had about three shades for darker skin tones i saw i think a, a as cocoa or something that started with a C. I saw this one which is the shade Espresso and then I saw, saw one that was a lot darker than this one. So they only had three shades to choose from. I'm gonna start off by priming my face using my Milani primer today. You guys know I love this primer. I will say that I really like the packaging of the Pro Matte Foundation compared to the Pro Coverage Foundation. This was like their one of their first foundations that they came out with and this is a plastic packaging and this one just feels a lot nicer it's a glass packaging and it just feels a lot nicer in the hand so i do like that and of course i love the fact that it has a pump on it i usually just do like a pump up here a pump here and a pump here of course it's looking a little too dark way too dark should i keep going you guys I don't know. <laughs> this is too dark. Oh gosh. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to continue with this just because it is way too dark. Uh, like I said, there was one shade that was a little bit lighter, so maybe I should have gotten that shade. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off. I do have another foundation that I will try out for you guys, but not. This is not it. So. Uh, I don't know. I'll probably return this and try to see if I can exchange it out for the shade above. Okay, so I'm going to redo everything. I'm going to go back in with my primer. So this foundation that I'm going to try out for you guys hopefully will be a better color than the LA Girl. But this is the Becca Aqualuminous Perfecting Foundation in Dark Golden. So I picked this foundation up from TJ Maxx and I only paid $12.99 for this foundation. So this is what this foundation looks like how it looks and this it features the dropper technology so instead of it having like the brush or the doe foot uh, it is a dropper I'm gonna shake this up because I've had this for a while and since it is seems like it's more water-based because it is the aqua luminous foundation I'm gonna shake it up give it a good shake there's foundation in there if you guys can see it oh gosh <laughs> I'm gonna squeeze it onto my face 
Don't do like me. Really hard to squeeze out. I'm probably not doing this right at all. I'm gonna just blend this out for now. Definitely a lot better on color. <laughs> probably won't be as matte as that LA Girl foundation because this is a luminous foundation or as full coverage as that foundation. But definitely a lot better on color selection with Becca. And Becca's always had pretty wide range of colors. It's definitely a light to medium coverage. So this is probably perfect for like the spring and summer months, especially when it's getting like hot outside. You don't want to put a lot of like heavy foundation on. I think this is probably going to be perfect for you. I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit more because you guys saw I did not squeeze a lot onto my face. So I'm going to apply a little bit more to see if it's buildable. And I have some dark kind of spots in my cheek area so that's really where I want the extra co coverage to be. It definitely spreads really easily so I do like that. It's definitely luminous. I can definitely see the luminosity going on but I really do love the shade. Like I feel like I, it doesn't really look like I have anything on. I will say on the second application of this foundation I did notice that it started to cover a little bit better. Uh, I don't think this is, I wouldn't even really rank this as a full on medium coverage foundation. This is definitely more on the lighter end of medium and kind of the higher end of lighter coverage foundations. So of course, with all the products that I'm going to probably put on my face, it's gonna still build it up to give me a nice medium to full coverage. So if you wanna start kind of your base off with a lighter coverage foundation and then use a full coverage concealer and then full coverage powders, then you're gonna kind of build up your face to have that medium full coverage look. So that still kind of works out for me on you know foundations that I have that weren't the specific coverage that I wanted. I can still kind of build them up to be a more fuller coverage. So I'm going in with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. After trying out the Fenty Concealer, this has that kind of same feel to me. I know this was out beforehand, but I know just kind of thinking about that concealer, this definitely has that same feel. And the sponge that I'm using today is also from TJ Maxx. It is, I think, Nicole Miller. I had the box over here somewhere I'll show you guys in a minute but it's the Nicole Miller sponge it was $3.99 this concealer blends out really fast I like to bring my concealer on top of my eyelid as well just for a little extra coverage on my eyelids I have really dark eyelids so I really like the concealer I think it blended out really nicely I am noticing a little bit of darkness still right in here and that could have been the sponge so I'm gonna just go in with just a little bit more. I usually don't do this. I'm gonna just go in with just a little tap like right here, just in case it was the sponge that kind of picked it up. You could also use a brighter concealer to reapply right here if you wanted to, to give you more of a highlighted look. I usually just kind of stick with the same concealer shade and I just kind of double up a little bit on the coverage right here because I know that I have some dark areas that peek through so for my powder i'm using this powder is kind of new to me and new to you this is the kat von d lock it brightening powder and i use the shade golden i've used it i think maybe once on camera and i also got this uh so just so you know this is a affordable product as well i also got this at tj maxx for 9.99 I'm just going to apply a little bit of setting powder underneath my eyes just for a little bit of brightening and as well to set everything together. So now what I usually do now instead of uh, like really dusting away my powder I like to like press it in now. Before I would just kind of take the brush and just really dust it away but now I like press it in and I just noticed that everything stays a lot longer than what it used to. But if there are some areas, if there's some areas on my face that I can see that the product isn't really moving, it just kind of is static, then I will go in and really brush those areas in. So I'm gonna bronze up my skin after I do my eyes, but I wanna go ahead and dive into this Morphe palette. Like I said, this is the bronzed babe palette, and I like how it has the mirror and I like how it has the names of the eyeshadows like right underneath there. I love that. So I'm gonna start off by priming my eyelids and using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Anti-Crease Primer. I'm gonna 
quickly fill in my brows using the Milani Easy Brow Brow Pencil. Sorry if you guys can hear someone cutting the grass outside. My neighbor is cutting their grass, so I apologize. The first color I'm gonna go in with is the shadow Now Boarding, which is this kind of orangey brown color. It's more so kind of taupey brown, I guess. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the color Road Trip, which is this color up here. I wish the colors looked more like the packaging on the back. I feel like it would make more sense that they look more like the packaging on the back just because they're very similar to each other. They're somewhat showing up a little bit different on me, but they're still very similar. Like, I honestly don't think it would have been any different than me just like really building up now boarding. But this is a bronze... A very bronzy palette it's called bronze babes I don't want to deepen up the crease too too much so I do want to apply like a kind of goldy shadow main color eyeshadow or main eyeshadow so I don't want to like deepen it up too too much because I don't want it to be smoky so now I'm gonna go in with faux real which is this kind of like gold shade down at the bottom corner kind of how the eyes are looking right now I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more of road trip and just kind of buff it in on the outer corner very lightly because like I said I don't want it to be like super smoky but being a little bit dark is fine so I want to apply a little bit of a shadow in the brow bone area so I'm gonna take a little bit of hang tin it's like the lightest matte shadow that's in this palette I'm just going to kind of lightly drag it underneath my brow bone area. I haven't done this in forever. I used to do this all the time. I find that it does look really nicely when you have more darker shadows in the crease area. It does look really nice to help bring out this brow bone area with like a lighter color shadow right there. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up the face now just bronzing a little bit. I really like bronzing. So I'm going to go ahead and pop on some lashes real quick and then I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, I am going to be trying out the Smashbox plus Casey Holmes Spotlight Palette in Gold. Sorry about the noise outside. And I'm going a little bit heavier because this is a kind of bronzy look. So I'm going to go a little bit heavier on the highlight than I normally do. So there we are with that. And now I'm going to go into lips. I am going to apply a liquid lippy and then I'm going to put a gloss on top of it just because I like glossy lips. But you can obviously not do glossy lips if you think your more bronze makeup look is good without glossy lips, then you can do that. And then I'm going in with this new liquid lippy that I bought. This is the L'Oreal Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick in 70% Yum. I'm going to rub my lips together. A lip brush may also help. And then I'm going to take my MAC Spice Lip Gloss. So that is pretty much the finished look. I love creating like crazy lip combos and so this is kind of like a more kind of like a brown nude lip but not too brown for me. So after everything I really do like this. I think that this is the perfect foundation for the warmer months. I think that you will have to build it up just a tad bit in order to get a little bit more coverage. Color was perfect. I didn't have any complaints with the color at all. 
but uh, it is more on the lighter coverage uh, end of things. So if that's not you, then you're not going to like this foundation. So I am, I don't think I would have paid full price for this foundation just because I am more of a matte full coverage foundation type of gal. So I don't think I would have paid full price. I'm kind of glad that I found it at 2J Maxx because that kind of gave me a... A way to try out something that I've never tried out before. So the next thing that I tried out that I loved in this video was the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I love this concealer. Like I said, it reminds me of the Fenty Concealer. I might have to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the two because as you guys know, the Fenty Concealer is, I think, $18, $20, I think, and this is only six. So I might have to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the two because it's very, very similar. Uh, I think the Fenty Concealer is just a tad bit thicker, but they're both creamy. They're both full coverage, and I really like them both so I probably be on the lookout for that side-by-side -side comparison. So I tried out this Casey Holmes Smashbox highlighting palette and I really do love it. I think it gives me a really nice highlight without being super glittery and just in your face. It's like a really nice kind of within highlight and just not over the top so really do love this smashbox palette and then the last new thing that i tried was the Oreo infallible pro matte liquid lippy and this is just i mean on its own it's a very 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 chocolate lipstick let me just swatch it for you guys so this is just what it looks like on its own look at that that is like super duper chocolate fall time it's a chocolate brown. It smells really, really, really good. If you're not into makeup products that smell, this is not going to be for you. Love this. I think it glided on really easily. Uh, I think by it, I have tried it by itself as well, and they are very moisturizing as well. So I think that was all of the brand new items that I tried. I did try a couple. Of, I did use a couple of other products in this video that were kind of new to uh, this channel, but I had used them in the past. Uh, the biggest miss of this video, which was at the very, very beginning of this video, was the LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation. As I said before, the shade range for this foundation is a dud. It's just not there. Uh, I will return this though and try out the shade above it because I do want to come back and do a full video on this foundation. It just wasn't in the cards today, so... Yeah, what can you do? I'm gonna try to go ahead and wrap up this video because clearly the lawnmower is not going to stop outside, so whatever. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up because I know that creating these types of videos is something that you're interested in seeing. I love actually trying out new products and I put them into my collection and then I can kind of push something else out. At least that's tried that's at least that's kind of the motto that I want to have. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave those down in the comment section below. All of the items that I use today will be in the description box below. And if I can find any type of Amazon links or anything quickly, I will have those down in the section below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!